Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Liam. Today's perfect word is、uh, walking through. Walking through. It's the same perfect word I posted a few weeks ago. It's called a、uh, walk by faith. If you haven't watched my video that one about walk by faith, I will post a link at the end of my video so you can watch it again. Okay, thank you. And、today, God asked me to post the video. He want to encourage some of you. He know someone is going to lose the face in God. Someone is feeling so tired of praying and praying without receiving anything from Lord. He know some of you are just feeling so hopeless about your life right now. Let me tell you something. Listen. So this year in March, God came to me. He told me He selected me before I was born. He told me I was selected to be His prophet seer one day when I am ready. I refused His call. We know why? Because I don't have any job. He just pulled me out from my job. He made me lose my job. I have no job for a year, no money, no job for entire whole year. This year, two thousand twenty-three. This year is the most difficult time for me. Did I give up? Yes, I give up many times. I mean, I didn't give up my life. I give up working on his ministry. I give up. Accepting his call to be his seer, his prophet, to post the prophetic word for everybody to watch every day. I told him, no, I don't want to do that. I say nobody gonna watch my video. No, nobody gonna subscribe to my channel. Who gonna listen to your word through my video? And every time he just encouraged me. Even this morning, he told me. This morning, I was like, oh well. I don't really want to post any prophetic word for people. I received、uh, like more than ten prophetic word yesterday, but I didn't post anything today. And he said, even you have a little bit of strength, I still want you to send the encouraging word to people who need to listen to right now. I don't know where he gonna tell me to go, and I was facing a lot of difficulties. And the trial, even still right now, you know, a lot of my friends just let me. They don't believe I am a seer. I'm a prophet. They attacked me. Church people attacked me. And my good friend let me. They say I'm crazy. They say what? Who you are? Why you think you are the God's seer? You crazy. And guess what? The people who hate me so much. Are Christian, all of them are Christian. Each one is a Christian. God told me because they are jealous. So when He called me in the March, that's how He told me. I was crying about I lose my job. I say why? Why I lost my job? He said because I want you to work for me. Oh my Lord! So you are telling me you you we were the one made me losing job, right? Thank you so much. Okay, Lord. He told me, "Can you have the faith in me, walking into the water, the ocean, just like what the Peter did? Walk into the ocean, follow Jesus, without thinking that he might be falling into the ocean. Do you have courage to walk into the destiny that God has set for you?" I know it's hard, but once you would like to take the courage and walk into what he said for you, he promised you. He said, "I promised you, your promised land will be much better and brighter than what you think. It's going to give you much better than what you imagine, because you have faith, because you have faithfulness in him." So now he give me a several scripture. I'm gonna read to you, okay? First one is、uh, Psalm chapter twenty three, verse four. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, 
for you are with me. You are rock and your step, they confirm me. Another scripture is from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they should not overwhelm you. When you walk through a fire, you should not be burned, and the flame should not consume you. Another one is from the John chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you this so that you will have a peace. By being united to me, the world will make you suffer. But be brave. I have defeated the world. Listen, my friend. No matter you are walking through your difficult time of uh, getting divorced right now, or you are walking through the difficult time that you probably gonna lose your job, your career right now. No matter you are walking through the trial that you still can get any profit from your business, from your organization, from your ministry work right now. God is telling you, He is with you. He's watching you in every step of your working process. He never leaves you. He is watching you. He's watching in everywhere you go. He's listening to every single word you, you say to any person because he wants to guide you into the next step. He's worried about you're going to leave him. He's worried about you're going to lo lose the face. And you're going to say, what, so why you don't give me what I'm asking for right now? Because if every time you pray for him and he just delivered your message overnight, and you will not come to him anymore. He's using this time to see if you have this patience to wait for him to get into the final promise then the better one for you from Lord. He said, everything have a process. Everyone will be in a different season. Different season means, for example, right now is your season for getting the family re reunion, okay? You probably fighting with your mother, your father, your sister, your brother for, for, for a long time. And you ask God to help you reunite again, okay? So this is season to help your family get together again. And after two months later, we'll be going into your next season. Next season will be the time he's going to bring you the job, give you a new job, give you a new career, give you a new relationship, give you a new marriage. That's how it works with God. So God said, everything you pray for, there's a season. It's not going to deliver everything to you overnight, like everything in one package. No. It's not worth with the heaven. Because I work for God every day. I can hear his voice. I can commute with God 24 hours a day. I'm serious. Even I can communicate with him 24 hours. I still need to follow his rule. He has his rule. He said, okay, now it's not your season. You ask me this, you ask. I give him like 28 different the, the, the requests, okay? Yeah, 28 every day. He said, I'm not going to deliver you 28 blessings in one package. Everything has different seasons. You just keep be patient and wait. God want me to tell you. He promised you. Even you, you are walking through all these uh, difficult times and uh, unpleasant time. He will never forsake you. He remember your prayer and he already put your prayer into the process right now he asked angel to deliver a blessing for you but it have to be different season for different thing okay so i have another scripture for you he asked me to read this scripture so important let me read it for you right now okay he asked me to read it okay he's isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 fear not for i am with you but not dismayed, for I am your God. 
I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And another one is on chapter nine, verse two. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. Those who live in a dark land, the light will shine on them. Listen, my friend. I'm facing a lot of trials right now. A lot of people attack me. Many of my friends leave me. I'm alone every day. But I cannot leave. This is my destiny. I know many people. You sometimes you doubt about God, but I'm telling you, He's real. He's really real. He talked to me twenty four hour a day. I can hear His voice, and I can see Him in my dream. And he sent me the, all this、uh, perfect vision during the day when I was sitting in my on my sofa. He sent me the vision like nonstop. It's real. It's not fake. God really exists, and all His promise is real. But it takes time. We just need to have courage to follow Him, and、uh, just follow Him. Listen to what this verse is saying. Okay, the people who walk in darkness will see a great light. We are walking in darkness right now, but we will see the gray line just because we walk in the darkness. But we still didn't leave him. We still believe in him. That's why in the, at the end, eventually we will see the gray line, and we will get a reward from Lord. God said, "I reward faithfulness, not the sacrifice." That's how He told me. He actually asked me to post this video two weeks ago, but I never post. I'm so sorry. There's another video, prophetic word. He asked me to post two weeks ago. It talking about. He say, "I reward faithfulness, not the sacrifice." He say, "You don't need to sacrifice anything. I will reward you. I only reward people who have faith in me." So today, the prophetic word is to tell you. Walking through the trials and difficulty, still never leave God. Still believe in Him, and you will get to the promised land. And this promised land is going to be better than what you expected. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to let us connect with each other. Okay. Thank you. God loves you, and I love you too. I will see you in the next video. Bye.